Hi, my name is Nick Borson, and this is the first uh, in a series of videos called Learning to Program in PowerShell. So before I get started, maybe I should say a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a senior software engineer at Microsoft. I've been programming for many years in a variety of languages, and uh, mostly C++, but uh, I've also been using PowerShell increasingly in my work. Uh, I use it every day, and, I, and the more I use it, the more I come to appreciate both how useful it is and also what a great way it would be to learn for first-time programmers to learn programming. So the emphasis of this series should really be on the first part of the title, learning to program. Uh, PowerShell, uh, PowerShell is, it's not just about teaching PowerShell, it's about teaching the concepts of programming, things like variables and functions and loops and so on, things that are common to every language. But in order to learn to program, you actually have to write code, and so we have to work in some language, and I think PowerShell is well suited to that. So let me say a little bit about what PowerShell is. You can see I have a, a terminal window open here that's running PowerShell. And PowerShell is a, uh, both a command line uh, a shell, uh, but it's also a, a powerful scripting language that goes with that. And there are lots of command lines. You might be thinking, you know, I thought we were here to program, not to learn a command line. But um, it really is a first-class language on top of that. There are lots of other shells, like the Bash shell on Unix-like systems and, of course, the old Windows command prompt, but none of them really are in the same class as far as programmability as PowerShell is. So part of the reason that I think it's uh, useful to, to learn to program in PowerShell is the interactivity of having a command line. We can just type things right in the command line. I can type 3 plus 5 and get 7. I can say hello world and see the result of that immediately without having to actually write a script and, 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 uh, and see the results. I can write little, little uh, I'm, don't worry if, the, if, if this is going too fast because we're going to cover everything in more detail later. But just to kind of show some of what PowerShell can do, I can, I can create a variable called um, uh, name, and we'll call it Bob. And I can say hello name. Let me see hello Bob. Or I can create multiple names in one variable. I can say equals Fred Wilma, if any of you remembers the Flintstones. And I can then write a loop, little loop for each name in names. Hello name. It doesn't really matter the case, but and there we are. That's just scratching the surface, but the point is that PowerShell allows you to uh, do all the same kinds of things you can do in many other programming languages, but it, it's really a great, convenient way to be able to play around and experiment. Um, and on top of that, the other reason that I think learning to program as a first language in PowerShell is so useful is just that it is incredibly useful for, uh, for just working with the computer on a day-to-day -day basis. Learning, getting, learning your way around a command line is useful anyway. There are some things that are just quicker uh, on a, using a command line than by pointing and clicking, and other things that really can only be done in the command line. But when you add to that the ability to program, you gain a kind of superpower. You can actually tell the computer to do things for you, especially repetitive or, or routine tasks, instead of having to do them manually every time. You can automate the boring stuff. So even if you don't go on to be, to, you know, if you, even if you don't get the, the um, you know, get, get hooked and want to be a programmer, just knowing some PowerShell and knowing, knowing how to program it could be something that's really useful, uh, useful in your life. So that's kind of what this series is about. Um, one thing you may, uh, in future videos, we'll get more hands-on, talk about some specific topics. And in order to do that, I would encourage you to actually install PowerShell and, and follow along. Now this uh, right here, there's a link that takes you to the, it's aka.ms PowerShell. And that takes us to the PowerShell homepage. If I click that to open in a browser, oh, control click, I guess, uh, to open that in a browser, then um, it takes us to, uh, to, there's an overview page, which I'm not gonna just read to you, you can read that yourself. And, uh, but it tells you there's links to how to install it on Windows, Linux, the Mac, PowerShell started out as a Windows technology, but now it is an open source and cross-platform technology for automating and, um, and performing all kinds of computing, ta computing tasks on all the major platforms. 
So uh, the old Windows one is still there, uh, it's sort of frozen on 5.1 and not being updated. The one you want is the cross-platform PowerShell that's currently PowerShell 7.1.3. Um, so that's that's the uh, that's the uh, the idea. And at next week or next time that we uh, next video, I guess I'll move on to talking about uh, variables and expressions. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you.